This video will help you become familiar with the notes and other annotation tools in Visual Takeoff 5. To add notes to the drawing, select the Notes tool from the toolbar. Then, at the location where you would like the notes displayed, drag out a rectangle with the mouse. Click into the newly created box and enter your text. Once finished, click anywhere outside the notes box to leave edit mode. Notice that my text box does not display as nicely as I may like. I can use the selection tool to select and edit items I have created. With the notes selected, notice the handles at the corners. These handles allow me to resize the box and the red dot at the top center allows me to move the box. I'll grab the lower right handle to make the box size more appropriate for the text we have entered. Next, we'll use the Rectangle View tool to highlight a section of our drawing. With the Rectangle View tool selected, much like the Notes tool, I'll drag out a rectangle around the area I would like highlighted. This restroom, for example. Once the rectangle is created, right-click anywhere on the page and select Highlighter. You can use the Highlighter Color tool from the toolbar to select any color you like when highlighting. You can also adjust opacity or how transparent the highlighter will be using this slider. Now that I have selected blue, let's highlight this stairwell. Again, drag out a rectangle, right-click, select Highlighter. The Dimension Line tool allows you to make measurements on the drawing without having those measurements end up in your estimate. With the Dimension Line tool selected, I'll take off this door. Notice that the length is displayed on the plan. You might use this tool to test a plan scale, or in the case of duct insulation takeoff, where the first several feet of duct might be lined and therefore outside the scope of your estimate, you could use the Dimension Line tool to help determine where your scope starts and ends.